This right here is my new desktop shortcuts layout that I just set up. And as you can see, it's a big improvement to what you would normally have on Windows. So with this, I can actually move this around to wherever I want. I could change the size of the buttons to whatever I want. I could do the opacity. I could change the background color. And I can even add some more rows and columns if I need to. But with this setup, the uh, desktop kind of has more of a tablet slash smartphone feel to it, which I kind of like. And uh, this was free for me to set up, but there is a catch, which we'll get to. So just the other day, Elgato, the company that makes stream decks and other things, just came out with a new update called VSD or Virtual Stream Deck. If you don't know what a stream deck is, this is what they look like. I love these things. I have one on my desk here. I've got one mounted under my desk. I even have their foot pedal version down there. With these things, you could program the buttons to do just about anything a computer can do. Like on this one, I have some volume controls. I have the ability to zoom in and out, to take screenshots. I could switch between my headphones and speakers with a tap. Uh, I even have smart home controls where I can control the lighting in this room. But basically with this new update, you can now have a whole stream deck right on your computer. So if you go over to Elgato's website and you go over to products and hover over stream deck, you'll see the option for virtual stream deck right here. And when you click on it, you get brought to this page. And this is where you can click get early access because it's not officially released yet as an update to the stream deck app. So if you have the stream deck app and you want to use this feature, you'll have to get the uh, beta version through the website right here. But this is the application. And as you can see, these are the shortcuts that I set up earlier. So to set one of these up, you would go to this top left corner and you would hit add virtual device, which I've already done. And as you can see, virtual Steam Deck 1 was created and this is it. And you could do anything you want with these buttons, any Stream Deck feature you could use. But for the purpose of this video and for the purpose of this specific virtual Stream Deck, uh, it's just my shortcuts. So I go over here to the right and I can drag a website to here or I can drag the open applications action as well right here. And uh, that allows me to scroll through a list of everything I have installed and then select what I'd want. So like, let's say Bamboo Studio for my 3D printer. I usually just erase the title so it looks cleaner and boom, there you go. Now, if I click that when it's on my desktop, it'll open that up. So I'm sure you get the point. The ultimate catch for all this to work is Elgato is currently requiring you to have any of their Stream Deck devices. So you could have their cheapest model, which I believe is the Stream Deck Mini with like a couple buttons, or you can have the ones I have. You can have the foot pedal. Um, there's a few other devices that support it as well. But yeah, that's the only bummer if you don't have a Stream Deck currently. But once you have any of them set up with your computer, you can create seemingly infinite virtual Stream Decks to your heart's content. And yeah, once you do that and you have it set up, um, I actually have a Stream Deck button that brings up those shortcuts whenever I want them. And I can click it again to hide it. But you can set that up with a keyboard key as well. But one annoying thing right now, since it's still in beta and all that, if I have something else open, the shortcuts stay in the front, in the foreground. So it's still there and I have to click that button to hide it. But regardless of all that, I actually like this a lot and I'll be using it now probably permanently as my new desktop shortcuts. So that's it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and uh, thank you for watching this video.